Hey good morning my name is Vipin Kumar and welcome back this is the second part of the video series CI CD for the SQL database environment in this video we are going to create a solution file by using the deckpack file which we created in previous video to create a solution file you required a Visual Studio. I am using Visual Studio 2017, a community edition. So let's go ahead. In Visual Studio, go to File and create a new project. Select the SQL Server template, then select SQL Server Database Project, give the name of the database, click on OK, your project is creating a blank SQL project has been initiated or created in Visual Studio. Now let's go ahead and import the that pack file which we created in previous video. Right click on the database and click on data tier application select the deckpad file location this is the deckpad file click on start Database is getting import in Visual Studio with all tables, schemas, and other objects. It successfully imported. Then click on finish. Now let it prepare for Azure SQL service. Right click and go to properties. The default target platform is SQL Server 2016. Drop down the box and select the Microsoft Azure SQL database version 12. Microsoft support SQL 2012 has a service. That's why we are using the AdWorks 2012 sample database. So change the target platform from 16 to Azure SQL database version 12. Now let's try to build this project in Visual Studio to avoid any warning message or error message in Azure build pipeline. So right click on Adventure Works 2012 and click on build. Your project is getting built. If you notice Visual Studio use the MS build 
to create a build lifecycle for this project we are going to use same process and components to build the to build lifecycle for the project in azure build pipeline now you can see has result of the build activity it created a dacpack file as well as a dll file let's go ahead and remove both the files because we generated the output or build life cycle for the testing so we successfully build the package for this database without any warning message or error message so we should be able to build this project in azure build pipeline without having any trouble so we successfully created the solution for the adventure works 2012 database in visual studio now you need to upload the solution file and all supported files and folders on git location so that we can create a azure build pipeline so let's see how does the solution files looks like our solution created on this location so let's go on this location now you can see here it created a solution file and a folder now let's go ahead and upload this solution on your favorite version control system I am using a git public repository for this demonstration. I have uploaded this solution on my github account. Either you can use my solution file or create your own solution file to complete the next demonstration how to create a azure build pipeline for the continuous integration continuous delivery in this video that's all please join me next video where we are going to create azure build pipeline for this solution thanks for watching have a nice day